Dear Lord, we thank you for bringing us together again tonight. It's a great pleasure, Lord, to be in your presence. We have come with all boldness tonight. Thank you because we have unlimited access to your presence. Thank you for the great love that you have for us. Lord, we release our faith for the supernatural tonight. Thank you for touching us and blessing us. I'm making it a great fellowship today. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay. All right. I want to... I want to touch on something very, very important tonight. Surely, I may not be able to conclude it because I need to take my time. Amen. I want to teach on how to train the human soul. How to train. How to train my soul. How to train my soul. Our soul is essentially the seat of our minds. Of recent discoveries and revelations has brought me to a place of appreciating above all the power of the mind, the power of the mind, the human mind. You see, the reason why our minds is important is because it is in the mind that our physical life becomes relevant. It is your mind that makes your life relevant. Why? Because man is a spiritual entity man is a spirit and because he's coming to live on the earth god gave him a dynamic mind with which he will use to articulate or express spiritual values man is a spirit is living in a physical world and because of that his mind is, is essential there's the mind, it is the, with his mind that he relates with the physical world. Man is a spirit, is a spiritual entity. There is no way it will be relevant in the physical life except there is a transformation center. For example, spirits. Spirits are powerless in our in our world and that's one thing we need to understand so as those people who are living with the fear of the devil we actually know that i don't have to be afraid of the devil this is my world this is my world the devil demons are spirits the devil is a spirit and this physical world is not meant for spirits it's meant for beings with bodies that is why if the devil wants to do anything here he will look for somebody to use. He will look for somebody who will agree with him, cooperate with him, and then he will use the person's body to accomplish his purpose. So spirits are powerless here, except they have a body to use. Because this is a physical realm. We live in a physical realm. A realm where you touch, where you feel, right? Where we can see ourselves. We can touch, we can feel, we can hear. This is a physical world. This realm is not meant for spirits. Okay. If any spirit is going to be effective or be able to do anything in the physical realm, it will have to possess a body. That's why there are some spirits that live in the tree. They live inside the tree. There are some people that worship tree. It is not the tree they are worshipping. It is the spirit that inhabits the tree that they are worshipping. Alright. But demons always have a desire for the human body because the human body is the highest grade of tool or instrument that they like to use. 
man is complex man is intelligent all right a tree cannot plan wickedness the way a man will plan wickedness you see so demons like to possess human bodies to express themselves so please make up your mind that you are not going to be a vessel for the devil all right the devil is not what you should be afraid it is the person that the devil has possessed that you should be afraid <laughs> hallelujah all right make up your mind you are not going to be a vessel in the hands of the devil because demons are going around looking for who they can use they can't do anything in this realm except they have a body to possess why because this is a physical world please learn that today so that you stop being afraid of things that are just the figment of your own imaginations knowledge is important all right now human beings are spirits we are spirits we have eternal spirits we have been in existence when we have to come to the world we have to come uh, through a vehicle of a woman it's in the womb of a woman that the the the, the spirit put on flesh put on body to come to the physical world that's why jesus needed the womb of mary the virgin mary had to conceive or else jesus would have just appear in the sky come down and land somewhere and start doing miracles maybe some people would have believed in him but no if he had come that way he would not be qualified to save man because every man that is living in this physical realm every human being that you see in the physical realm pass through the normal vehicle of a woman's womb hallelujah so if man will have to be saved the person that will save him must come like him if if jesus had dropped from the sky then he will not be a man we will have to find another name for him praise the lord uh, to be a human being you will have to pass through conception and you will have to be delivered into this world that's how to come to this world praise the lord okay now so why am i saying all this i want us to begin to appreciate our minds and then be interested in how to train to develop your mind now we came as i said man is a spiritual entity now god gave him a dynamic mind with which to affect his world you influence the physical world with your mind that is the the spirit being that is living in this body influences the world around him through my mind that's the purpose of my mind you see so it is my mind that gives meaning to my life it is my mind that makes me relevant in the world that is why if you meet any human being that have lost his mind like a lunatics a madman on the street who have lost his mind he has virtually lost his life because the things that pertain to human life is not he can never be qualified to do them as a madman you will not see somebody getting married to him as a madman he cannot contest election and somebody will vote for him a madman cannot apply for a job in your office and you employ him are you are you catching it uh -huh. why because when you lose your mind your life you have lost relevance of your life on this earth can you see how important so it is it is your mind the, the if your mind if the quality the value of your of your of your mind is inferior your life will be inferior if you put quality you add value to the quality of your mind your life also we have value are you catching it uh -huh. if you are sound in mind your life will be sound 
If you are dull in mind, your life will be dull. If you are poor in mind, you will live in poverty. If you are rich in your mind, your life will be rich. Anything is possible to you because you are a spirit being. In our spirit, especially those of us that are born again, because the spirit of somebody who is not born again, the spirit lives in darkness. In the sense, what I mean by that, the spirit is insensitive to God. A non-believer is a spirit, but the spirit lacks the knowledge of God. The, the spirit is not in fellowship with God because of the sin of Adam. Jesus came and paid the price for that sin so that man can, can become sensitive, come man can have relationship with God again. So Jesus came and paid the price for the sin of man. After his resurrection, any man that puts his faith in Christ, a miracle will happen in you. It is that miracle that they call born again. Your relationship with God will become connected. What do I mean by that? Your spirit man is in union with God again. As it was meant to be before the fall. You can hear the voice of God. You can fellowship with God. You can have the joy of God's presence. You have access to the power of God. You have access to, to spiritual inheritance. You are citizens of heaven. We are sons and daughters of God as we were meant to be before the fall. So what happens? Your spirit man goes back to fellowship with God. There is a union between God and your spirit. God lives in you. The nature of God that we lost as a result of sin is restored back to you. So in the state that I am now, I am sensitive to God, I'm in union with God, I'm in relationship with God. It is possible for me to receive information from God, to hear the voice of God, to be led by God, to be helped by God, to be provided for by God, to be blessed by God because I am related to Him now. Jesus had broken the, the wall of partition that separated me from God. I'm no longer living in darkness, I'm living in the light now. Why? through jesus christ and i'm eternally grateful for that hallelujah okay so it's a it's a great miracle it's, it's a powerful thing that happened the day a man is born again you are restored back to god now after you have been restored back to god your spirit is in perfect state as a matter of fact the bible says that we are seated with christ in heavenly places who is it that is seated with Christ because I'm still around here? It is my spirit. That's to say, you know, in the realm of the spirit, there is no distance, doesn't mean anything. Distance means something to us that are in the physical realm. All right. If I want to go to PZ now, I need a means of transportation. Or if I get for work, it will take a long time before I get there. That only happens to, to physical people. In the spirit realm, if I want to go to Longley right now in the spirit realm, I will just think it and I will be there. I don't need means. Why? Because I'm a spirit being. So it is possible for my spirit to be seated with Christ in heavenly places. Praise the Lord. Because really, in the spirit realm, there is nothing like distance. There is nothing like time. Time doesn't affect anything. Distance doesn't affect anything. So it is possible. So when scriptures is saying that I am seated with Christ in heavenly places, I believe it 100%. Why? It is my spirit because i have i i i have spiritual understanding i know that there is no limitation of any sort in my spirit my spirit is perfect my spirit is holy my spirit is, is in you know fellowshiping with angels my, my spirit is in the presence of god you know but for now i am living on the earth temporarily for a purpose that is something that god wants me to achieve on the earth now there is a bridge between me and my world that is around me i am a spirit 
I live in the physical world. Now, how do I make things happen in my physical in the physical world? Since I'm a spirit, this is not the realm. This this is not my home. This, this is not my permanent. I'm here temporarily in the physical world. I don't belong to the physical, but temporarily I am residing in this physical body to fulfill a purpose in this planet. Now, how do I make it happen? The place where my spiritual mission, where my spiritual virtue, where my spiritual gift is convertible to physical usefulness is in my mind. That is why God gave me the mind. That's why I have a mind, a dynamic mind. Dynamic in the sense that it converts spiritual entity to physical usefulness in the mind that is why when you are rich in your mind your life will be rich if you are weak in mind your life you will be weak in everything your in your contribution in your attribute whatever it is that you're doing will be will be weak 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 why because your mind is weak sound mind also we give you a sound life a rich mindset gives you a rich life nothing stops it so the kind of life that we want to live let us stop seeing life as a mystery that's, that's the reason we come to church so that we can have understanding there is no mystery about life there is no mystery about life don't join people who attribute everything to to, to, to superstition don't be superstitious don't be superstitious have knowledge have understanding you see having knowledge and understanding very very important you see so success to achieve success here or to live a good life is not a mystery it's the function of the mind all right i wrote down some points about the mind one i said your value is essentially a function of the use to which you put your mind your value your value in this life what you value right now your value your quality is essentially a function of the use to which you put your mind oh my no wonder the devil fights so hard to engage our minds and keep us busy on useless things on unproductive things no one has said that would prefer to engage your mind than engage your body it's much more interested in your mind right satan go for your mind because he knows that that is the driver's seat of your life he knows if i can just mess up your mind how, how your, your life is messed up already that is why i like to let people know that it is not what is happening around you that it's your problem what is what is happening around you they are products they are they are results they are fruits of something that has happened in you all right that is why the change of mind is very important the renewing of mind is important i have found out that most of us christians are very slow in renewing our mind forgetting that that is the source of everything all the spiritual value the spiritual virtue the gift the the, the potential the power the, the resources the blessing that is in our spirit which which is in our in our spiritual nature we need to bring it to our physical world we need to, to show god's blessing his prosperity all right his blessing his potential his gift his power in the physical but the problem is our minds are still messed up with things that are not in line with spiritual virtue that's why paul was advising us in Romans chapter 12, can, can, can you open to Romans chapter 12, Pastor, quickly? Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Romans 12. 1, 2. Yes. I beseech you, therefore, brethren. I beseech you, therefore, my brothers and sisters. Yes. By the mercies of God, uh -huh. that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, uh -huh. wholly acceptable unto God, uh -huh. which is your reasonable service. Uh -huh. And be not conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to the pattern of this world. Uh -huh. 
but be ye transformed uh -huh. by the renewing of your mind uh -huh. that ye may prove what is that good an acceptable and perfect will of god okay if we are going to prove that that which is good acceptable will of god if we are going to do the will of god if you are going to discover god's purpose if you are going to discover god's power if you are going to discover your mission if the spirit of god is going to lead you and guide you your mind have to be renewed you can only find expression in the physical world through your mind so whatever your mind is made up that is what your life will be made of mm -hmm. what your mind is is what your life will become very important i have come to realize that the value of a man's life is the value of his mind so if i can help to begin to work on our minds you begin to see lives transforming life will start changing if you can help someone to renew his mind to if i can if 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 you if you can help you to begin to see differently and think differently see in line with god with the, with the pl plan of god see in line with the world think in line with the world what's going to happen your life will change it will change it's not whether it's not it's not try and error no that's the way it happens you see your value is essentially a function of the use to which you put your mind brothers and sisters learn this please love yourself love yourself love yourself guard your life your mind love yourself guard your mind don't leave your mind vulnerable and then you are complaining that somebody is doing you nobody is doing you anything guard your mind and let your life be good guard your minds you can't see my own i can't see your own you are the only one that knows what is going on on the inside of you i'm only here to teach you how important your mind is a lot of people's lives are messed up because their minds are messed up proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 quickly can you please get a, a, a good news translation that's king james you are holding any of those boys that have good okay you have it there god bless you proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 pastor one two yes be careful how you think uh-huh your life is shaped by your thoughts read it again be careful how you think uh-huh your life is shaped by your thoughts wow wow king james version says guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life i like that yes read it in king james pastor keep thy heart with all diligence you are the one that should do the keeping of your mind uh-huh for out of it are the issues of life the issues of life flow from there yeah before you complain about a witch guard your mind first <laughs> 